Hello, hello, welcome back to Falls on the Hill on YouTube to Under the Needle, where we talk about our record purchases of the week. If you've just stumbled across this video, don't know who we are. We do a weekly podcast and all good places, and this is where we come to talk about any vinyl purchases or other interesting music, physical music purchases of the week. Um, yeah, wait till the end of the video to hear a bit more about where you can find us and all that rubbish. But for now, I'm going to get into my records. So first and only up, I only bought one this week, so this is the one. Um, I have the debut album from the band Black Country New Road, um, a band that I'm a big fan of. Um, uh, it's a debut album for the first time, which is obviously a very fitting title. Um, if you want to hear more about what I think about the album itself, then our episode 11 will be out tomorrow, Monday. Um, and I'll go into more detail there as my pick of the week. Um, but the record itself, I was lucky enough to, um, I was quick enough, I guess, to manage to order one of the test presses from Ninja Tune, who is the, the label that's put this out. It's signed, it's very cool. Um, so it just arrived in this kind of white sleeve. I think it's been hand stamped, you can tell there. Um, hand, kind of hand stamped labels. Um, but it's a, it's pretty simple, not much to talk about really. Signed by the full band, there's seven members, and they're all there. One of them, Charlie, signed at Hotel Yorba, which I thought was pretty cool. I sent a message on Twitter just to see if there's a story behind that. He said they were probably listening to White Stripes at the time, which is cool. Um, I guess a little snippet of what they're up to. Um, it's not much more to show. It has got an inner sleeve inside the outer white sleeve. It's very tough to get out. And then it's just standard black vinyl, so not a great lot to uh, to show off there. But yeah, uh, hand stamped labels are pretty cool. And it came with a little postcard. I guess well, it's not really a postcard; it's like a postcard shape, little print. As far as I'm aware, um, all the orders came with one of these. I think it was a test pressing, um, and all with different pictures. So mine's just uh, two people holding hands. It's quite nice. It says on the back, Black Country New Road for the first time, the date, 5th February 21, Ninja Toon. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I'll point it out, it's one of 500, this particular, this test pressing, number 322. Um, and yeah, I'll save this to the podcast, see what I think. Uh, up next is Colin. Thanks Liam. Um, please ignore my wet, scraped back hair and my dodgy sideburns, you've seen it all before. Um, first record this week is Phoebe Bridges' second album, Punisher. Um, recently got into Phoebe Bridges quite a lot, particularly this album. I've not really heard much from her first record, Stranger in the Alps. But um, yeah, really love this record and I was holding off until another um, special version came available, which luckily it did. I follow a resident, a um, record store in Brighton. And they tweeted that uh, a few of the Love Record Store Day releases had come back in stock. I'm not sure whether or not it's a um, reissue or if it's just extra stock. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, I managed to get hold of one anyway. It is on a gatefold, in a gatefold sleeve. Um, and it's just pretty lovely, if I'm honest. It's got this really nice insert. The end is near. Ever joyful is Phoebe uh, with loads of lyrics and nice illustrations. I won't bore you with all the details. I suppose that's why I'm here, but you know, it's just an insert at the end of the day. Um, but the record is supposedly why you're all here. It's on a red and blue Galaxy LP, but it's kind of it looks more purple to the naked eye. I don't know if you can see that. If you can see the red in there somewhere, but I promise you it's there. I'm not lying. Uh, my favourite tracks on this LP are Kyoto and I Know The End. I Know The End was kind of how I got into Phoebe Bridges in the first place. So I think it's really good. Next album I have was one I got in sale, again from Resident in Brighton. Um, not from anywhere near Brighton, but you know, Royal Mail coming in clutch. It is Anna Meredith's second record, Phipps, uh, Mercury Prize nominated, which is where I became accustomed to 
Anna Meredith, she performed Paramore with uh, the band on on the show, and I was hooked. I loved it. Um, went and listened to every Mercury Prize album afterwards, and this is one that really stuck out to me. As I said, I got it in a sale, so it was relatively cheap. I think it was about I think it was about a tenner or something. Um, another one that I wasn't really fussed about getting until I could get it on the special edition one, and it's on. The Winter Wind LP, which is a lovely light blue colour. It's just a really good record. It's very different. I think she's a, a trained composer, which is kind of comes into her music. It's all like electronic, but it's it has a lot of like violins and all jazz like that. It's a little bit different, so it's pretty cool. I like it. Very good. Check it out if you haven't. I heard it already. My third and final pick for the week, and what will probably be the last record you see of mine for quite some time, I can say quite some time, probably about two weeks, uh, is the new Psychedelic Porn Crumpets record. Uh, it is called Shiger, The Sunlight Mound, a fourth record from the Aussie psychedelic band, who I am quite a big fan of. This was my Hot Off The Press pick on the latest Falls On A Hill podcast. Link will be in the description if you want to go and check that out, please do. We had a lot of uh, quite contrasting thoughts on this record and we also had to listen to the new Foo Fighters album. So if you've heard that, you'll know what the episode entails. Lots of disappointment. This is the UK exclusive record. Well, that's what they've coined it as, but apparently you can get it in a lot of other places as well, not just the UK and Europe. Uh, it is on a, I think it's classed as a tricolour record, but kind of just looks orange and white to me. Looks a bit like a Solero. I suppose on this side, there's more of a splatter where you can see. There you go, there's the tricolour coming into effect. But yeah, uh, like I said, if you want to go and hear my full thoughts on the album, uh, the latest podcast episode will be linked in the description below. But um, it's a good record. It's not my favourite of the Pong Crumpets discography. That would be the third record, and now for the watch, we call it. But um, I think songs like Puke Box and Tally Ho are some of Psychedelic Bone Crumpets' strongest songs in their discography. So it is a good record overall, and I did enjoy it. So yeah, they're my picks. Thanks for listening. Fuck the Tories. Thank you, Cal and Liam, for showing us your records for this week. Again, I haven't bought anything. I did say that might be quite a common occurrence, but hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll have something from me to share with you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give it a like, leave a comment with some suggestions of cool records you think we should talk about maybe, or ideas that you might have, or just records that you might have bought this week. Um, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Falls on a Hill Podcast. Twitter is just Falls on a Hill Pod. Obviously, ding that bell and apart from that yeah have a nice rusty week guys we'll see you next week